to part 3 of Karangoni Boy's Guide to Recycling. My name is Sho Chen, and previously... It's a plastic bag. Did you guess it right? Not all plastic items can go into the recycling bin. I have a friend who is a puppeteer who plays with puppets and also makes her own puppets. Hey Bing Tian, are you ready to show our friends on how to make a plastic bag into a puppet? Yes, I am. Oh, you are? Okay, great. Over to you. Thank you. Hello, my name is Bing Tian. And today, I'm going to share with you how to make a puppet from things that cannot be recycled. This is a puppet. It is made from... A plastic bag. Let's see what it can do. You start with imagination From the dreams in your head From nothing to completion Exciting adventures await New ideas to be found I can't wait I can't wait to begin You can make, make things happen Make things happen You can make, make things happen Make things happen Just give it a shot you can make a toy, build an invention It will bring you joy You just have to put things together Start out alone, but by the end You've made a friend I can't wait, I can't wait to begin You can make, make things happen Make things happen You can make Make things happen Make things happen Just give it a shot Hi there My name is Lulu Earlier on You saw me go on an adventure With my niece Megan The song that kept us company Is titled Make Things Happen Make Things Happen was written by Stan and Jean Tay. The song was sung by Shou Chen. Actually, I am made as a gift for Shou Chen. Well, I'm going to wrap myself up in this ribbon and wait to be delivered to him. Oh, I'm so excited to be going on an adventure again. <laughs> well, this is a puppet I made from items like these. Food packaging. Since they cannot be recycled, why not make them into things that we can play with? Let me show you. These are the items we need. A rubber band. Clear tape. Stapler. And the plastic bag. First, we need to find the centre of the plastic bag. So, we just simply fold it into half. And we need to press the center very very hard to make sure we get a very prominent line so you see this beautiful line is the center now we need to fold the edge of the plastic to the center and we do the same to the other side we bring the other edge to the center as well
Now we need to bring this edge to the center. And we will bring the other edge to the center too. And now we need to hold the plastic very very firmly and then we need to flip it over to the other side. And now we look for the center and we fold the plastic into half again. Next, we are going to work on the head of the puppet. So we need to fold this end twice. One time, two times, and you see the center over here? So we are going to pull the flaps at both sides. And we are going to pull this flap all the way to behind. To the back here. So as we pull the flap, we need to push the plastic back to the center in order to give the head more volume and then the head will look rounder in that way. So we are going to let the two flaps meet each other, hold on tight to the head and then staple the flaps together like this. This is the way you join the two flaps. And now, we have the head of the puppet. Now, it can actually move its head, left, right, left, right. And now, let us work on the arms of the puppet. So, I'm going to create a hand which is at the tip of this end of the plastic. So I'll be using a rubber band to help me. So I'm going to tie this rubber band at this edge here. I will need to wrap it around many many times until you see the rubber band gets smaller and smaller. And a few more rounds, and it should be done. And there we have. This is the hand of the puppet. So you can wave. And now, we move on to the other hand. Same thing. We move on to the elbow. First, we need to look for the position of the elbow. So it should be around here and I'm going to use the clear tape. Form the upper arm of the puppet. And now we have the elbow. The puppet now can bend its arm. I will make the elbow for the other arm. And now we have the other elbow. Now I'm straightening the body of the puppet. So this is the body. And then the puppet now can actually move. 
It can even rotate and wave. And it can also maybe bend its arm and touch its head and think about something or even scratch its stomach. <laughs> Or the puppet can hold both hands together and maybe walk like this. How about the puppet walking towards you? <laughs> and there we have a puppet made from trash. A clean trash. I'm so glad I can share this activity with you. Time to bring Shochen back. Shochen! Shochen! You call for me? Yes, I'm done with the activity sharing. Thank you for introducing me to them. Great! Time for me to go. Bye! Bye! Now that you have learned how to make a puppet from trash, whenever you want to throw something away, stop for a moment to see if you can turn it into something fun. Or better yet, you may be able to make it into something useful to brighten up someone's day. Well, thank you for joining me today. Hope you will have tons of fun turning trash into treasures. Take care. Bye.